Welcome to another Tech Talk brought to you by Frontier Precision. Today we'll be talking about Trimble Business Center. Inside Trimble Business Center is a module called the Scanning Module. This module has a number of tools, but today we'll be focusing on the georeferencing tool. This tool allows you to adjust point clouds to control. For example, you have a point cloud that is above or below control or needs some sort of translation. You can use this tool to better match your control. All right, to begin, I've started a Trimble Business Center project. I've imported some RTK data with these vectors here, as well as some control points. I've also imported a point cloud that was derived from drone imagery in Pix4D. The tools we'll be going over today aren't necessarily only applied to drone-based point clouds, but they can be used to adjust terrestrial point clouds and mobile point clouds as well. Any point cloud that you'd like to adjust in a rigid fashion, this tool applies to. I'm going to turn off our RTK vectors here and just leave the points on so it's a little bit easier to see. If I zoom into one of our control points, we can see that horizontally we're a bit off from our target. So this tool is going to help us adjust our point cloud to better match our control. Inside the point clouds tab in our upper ribbon, we're going to launch the georeference scans tool. The georeference scans tool is a two-part process. Part number one, we need to select which points and point ID we would like. We can do that by either clicking on it in, inside of our project here, or by expanding our points layer inside of our project explorer and selecting it here. I'll do it both ways for this tutorial. Way number one, I'll zoom in and I'll click on our control point, 50,043, and we see that it populated inside of our point ID. Step number two is we want to click on a point inside the point cloud that we would like to better match to 50,043. So I'm going to select the middle of this panel here. We can see that our easting, northing, and elevation residuals remain at zero. That's because we need to populate a few more for this to, to actually calculate. I'm going to find another couple control points. 50,047. This one I'm going to select from inside of our Project Explorer. 50,047. Once again, I'm going to select the center as best I can. Now we're starting to see these easting, northing, and elevation residuals populate. These are pretty important. For example, if I delete this one and I'm just going to select the incorrect point, 50,048, and I select the center, all of a sudden we see some pretty high residuals. We know we probably have the wrong point selected. So I'm going to go back to 50,047 here. These numbers make a little bit more sense. I'm going to finish off the last two control points here. 50,048. All right, now that we have three points selected, we can see our easting, northern, and elevation residuals make a little bit more sense. There's one last control point to select. 50,045. All right, and that's the four control points within this project. The last step is to select the georeference button with inside this tool. When you click this, Trimble Business Center will actually translate or move up and down our point cloud to better match these control points with these residuals. Now that I've clicked the georeference button, we can see we're better matching our control. When you hit close, these results will be saved. Make sure to save your project. This has been another Tech Talk brought to you by Frontier Precision.